Hey, Randy here. We're out here in McEwen, Kansas, tinting another John Deere. We're using 35% ceramic from Armalin window film. Check out ArmalinUSA.com. It's a website if you would like to get yourself a roll. It's a really good film. Comes with lifetime warranty. It shrinks really well. So yeah, we're gonna heat form another window for you. You got a glove. The glove's got metal in it. It's cut proof, and I like to use them. We're just gonna beat it up and sweep it out with our glove. And go up right along our, our H pattern that we already drew. You see the shrink bit? It's kind of go a little bit at a time. Always make sure your fingers are going with the direction you're signing the form. You say you got moving. You say the same ears going sideways. You never want to try to shrink up and down whatever you're reforming this direction. And I'm not starting anywhere. I'm just kind of bouncing around. You don't want to reform in one spot too long. So sometimes you'll have a spot that uh, you struck it and it's not want to shrink anymore. Let, let it uh, cool back down and come back to it. And a lot of times you'll get a little bit more shrinkage out of it. When you get closer to the edge, a lot of times I'll wet down the, wet down the edge so it'll stick at the very end. Sometimes it dries out it's, and will dry on me and uh, it doesn't like to stick very good. So I'm just getting this in the crack a little bit. They'll go all the way to the edge because it'll see it. It's not wanting me to, it's not letting me go all the way. I gotta trim it back just a little bit so it'll stick completely to the glass and not have any hanging over. It's card or the hard card. It helps it. It does seem to help it stick a little better. You're having trouble getting it to stick. It's a hard card. You gotta be a little more careful than you can crease it. A lot easier with this. You don't want to heat form right around these edges very much. We have our H pattern. I, I've already set it up. Split it in the middle and anchor it to the bottom and the top. I wipe a dryer sheet on here. Like I always say, you want to put a dryer sheet on it or some kind of soap to keep it from creasing up on you. I wipe the H pattern off. So there's no soap where the H is. It's sticks really well right where you want it. If you were trying to shrink it vertically, it would not work. It only extinction one way. I also wipe the soap off around here so it stick where it won't do. I want to try to avoid sinking right near it as much as I can. You're gonna have to a little bit. All right, I'll then trim off the sides. That about a half bend that the gasket's gonna cover so we can, you can hide the tip back on right in. I'll cut off about, I'm cutting off about three eighths and then I can do the vine bolt. We're ready for the back window now. Same thing, clean the window. We wipe it with dryer sheet to keep that soap film on there. We wiped our age pattern off and I wet the edges just to stick it a lot better. You want a towel in between there? And there they go, where you see it start to form. Try not to fall off the track here while you're doing this. We still like kind of holding it right by the hinge, just kind of a tricky spot. We don't want to heat too much right where the hinge is. Running the heat gun over it at the end will kind of, it'll show you if you got any more spots that need heat formed. A lot of times as soon as the heat hits it, a finger will pop up and that's where you need to hit it one more time. Uh, once you get them all smoothed out, you're good to go. Thanks for watching.